Anybody tell me uh, what's missing from this equation? The numbers. What are the numbers missing? Six. Six. So we got to have those balanced up. All right, the sun's energy is going to come in the form of waves. <coughs> you guys are ahead of Blue Day now. Aren't you excited? Yay. All right, comes in the form of waves. All right, waves are going to provide energy, right? All right, not the waves from an ocean, but you know the waves I'm talking about, light energy waves. And they're going to be absorbed by this chlorophyll pigments. All right, this is a protein. All right, that chlorophyll is a protein. Chlorophyll is green because it, why is something green? Why is your shirt blue? Because All right, because it's reflecting blue, All right? Chlorophyll is green because it's reflecting green. It doesn't absorb it. So we got our sunlight coming in in the form of waves. It's going to produce, uh, it's going to hit the chlorophyll in the leaf. We're going to put in some carbon dioxide. We're going to put some water in. We're going to get glucose out along with oxygen as a byproduct. O2 as a byproduct. Do plants want oxygen? They don't like oxygen. They don't really care for it. It's just a waste product to them. Right? It's just a waste product. Okay. All right, so the sun is the source for all energy, uh, life on Earth. That's no good. What happened there? All right, the word photosynthesis means make things with light, light to build, light to build like to build all right what is the most commonly made thing you should know that glucose all right okay so glucose is a uh, molecule most commonly made all right i like to put this in here light to build all right it means make things with light glucose is the most commonly uh, thing made Photosynthesis uses light energy from the sun to combine inorganic without carbon. I know carbon dioxide, you know that's one of the inorganics. We talked about that earlier. And water to produce organic compounds such as glucose. Right? Organic with carbon. Right? Again, that's missing our wonderful thing. What are the reactants? What are the reactants here? All right, reactants. What are the products? All right, what are the catalysts? All right, this is the catalyst. What is the substrate where the reaction is going to occur? Mm -hmm. All right, so that's where the reaction is going to be triggered is on the chlorophyll. All right, so nothing can happen without the sun. And we have a limited time left of the sun. I mean, a couple million years, probably. So by that point, we probably will not be on Earth by the time the sun decides to go. All right? But there will be other things still left here, um, such as plants and insects. Oh, yes. Sorry. What's up? She's got it for you. All right. So. A pigment 
is going to be a protein that can absorb uh, light uh, centered in certain colors of light and wavelengths in certain colors. The most common effective pigment in photosynthesis is the green pigment chlorophyll. Although there are others which we're going to learn about. Does anybody know any other pigments? Any other pigments? Off the top of your head? Red, okay. Maybe a more specific name? Well, the name of the green one is chlorophyll, all right? So we'll talk about those in a little bit. All right. So we already talked about this. Who can tell me the first two answers? What are the reactants? All right. Now take a look at this big yellow thing here. See this big yellow thing here? Now, this yellow thing over here. Right? This equation that you need to memorize, carbon dioxide and water makes glucose and oxygen. You have to memorize that equation. Products are glucose and oxygen. Oxygen is a waste product. Right? Oxygen is a waste product. Right? You've all learned about photosynthesis in middle school. All right, we're going to go into a little more detail than what you learned in middle school. All right, but it's really still the same basic concept. All right, so you're going to also note that you may see the equation listed in the second box. Why? Because we're going to have six water molecules net produced. So when you have, this is how this works. Chemically, when you have something that exists on both sides, see this and this, all you do is you get rid of that and you make that six, all right? Since it takes six, it takes 12, you're gonna produce six, but the net is gonna be six, six, one glucose and one uh, six molecule. Who can remember that law from chemistry? Where you do that left and right side of the arrow. It's that law. You cancel the things out, put the reactions together, cancel those out. Who remembers from chemistry? Check out some juniors. Starts with an H. And an E. And an S. S. S is law. Oh, yeah. That was the actually fun part. You actually like that, I bet. That was actually fun, right? So that's where we remember that. Okay. All right. So next, glucose and other organic molecules have energy stored in chemical bonds. Therefore, we can say photosynthesis, light energy is converted into chemical energy. All right. So we're taking a look at this wonderful picture. All right, we got some carbon dioxide, some water again, light energy. Now we have chemical energy and a byproduct. There's a glucose and other organic molecules <coughs> used through the food chain. All right, we'll talk about food chains in a chapter coming up. All right, the chemical energy from the organic molecules made in photosynthesis is the source of food or energy for all living organisms that cannot perform photosynthesis. Not entirely true, because we do have some uh, sulfuric, uh, some sulfanic uh, bacteria that don't need to do this, that use chemicals, but for the most part in your uh, world, this probably makes sense. Um, organisms that can perform photosynthesis are called autotrophs. What are the ones that cannot perform photosynthesis called? Heterotrophs, all right, very good. Means self-feeding. Examples are plants, algae, and bacteria. Plants, algae, and bacteria. Okay. Okay, so how are these two related? Photosynthesis and cellular respiration. How are they related? Opposites, all right, opposites, very good. 
why, oh why, oh why. They are opposites. How else are they related? The reactants of photosynthesis are the products of respiration and vice versa. Respiration is breaking down glucose, that's catabolic. Building it up is anabolic. So building glucose is anabolic. Photosynthesis is anabolic. Why we always think about those guys on anabolic steroids, building up muscles, right? Requires energy. All right, so we have two stages of photosynthesis, light independent and light dependent. All right, light dependent and light independent. All right, and we have a chlor uh, light dependent. When do you think this occurs? Real quick, when does this occur? During the when do you think light dependent reactions occur? During the during the day. When do you think the light independent reactions occur? All right, night time. All right. So in this, I need some help. Uh, what do you think the first box is? Uh, this guy right here. Uh, Anybody? Agree? Disagree? You're the only person saying it, so I don't know if it's right. Yeah. Okay. Got a couple people saying it, it's all right. And y'all doesn't think it's right. The first box, first box. He said it was a stroma. What do you think? Stroma because Jude says it? Everybody agree? Yes. This right here is a stroma? Outer membrane, okay. All right, the next one is tough. There you go, inner membrane. Woo! All right, the next thing is pointing to this like round thing. Go ahead, and say it, Sydney. Starch granule. Starch granule. Yeah, man, the starch grain. It looks like a freaking potato. It must be a starch grain. I can spell it right, that'd be better. Starch. I'm going to say granule grain. All right. Uh, what about the next part, the blue? Amazon. The inner membrane? No. I didn't hear you, I'm sorry. Did you say inner membrane? What? Stroma, yes! Stroma. All right. Stefan, what you got? What you got? Oh. Thylakoid. And last but not least, Grana. All right. Do we have ribosomes? Yeah, ribosome. Here you go. Ribosomes. All right. That little black dot. All right. So on the next page, you need to try that with your neighbor real quick. I'll give you about a minute. That's real life. It's the real life picture. I don't know why they make everything look like a cartoon. I don't 
Thylakoid? Occurs in the stroma, light dependent occurs in the thylakoid. 